D Lo 404 boxing. All right, so we got we got the definitive result in this second fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Uh, Tyson Fury was the better man on the night. He got the win. I'm not fixing to do a whole bunch of breakdown on why he got the win, but I will just say that with the shot he landed that dropped Deontay Wilder, that fight was essentially over at that point. You know, um, with Wilder taking damage to his vestibular system and his equilibrium being off the way it was, it was all he could do just to stand up in the fight, let alone contend. There was not going to be any power generated on his shots. He was not going to be able to get back in the fight and land some monster shot and, and end the night, in my opinion. You know, and I'm saying that based on some personal experience uh, without going too much into detail. But I, I will say that I'm saying that because I, I'm, I'm seeing people saying it was a robbery. Wilder was having a second win. Uh, the ref should have stopped the fight. The corner should have thrown in the towel and all that. I feel like the corner did what they were supposed to do. You have to save your fighter from himself um, in those situations. The refs have, ref has to save a fighter from himself. The commission has to save a fighter from himself. Um, if you got, Deontay Wilder has a fighting spirit, a warrior spirit. He's not going to want to. He's going to always feel like he's in a fight and they shouldn't be stopped. If you look at what happened in the Ortiz, the first Ortiz fight where Wilder was getting battered all around the ropes on the, in the seventh round, and then they came out to start the eighth, and the commission stopped and looked at him, and they basically they basically were taking a look to decide whether or not they needed to save Deontay Wilder from himself and stop the fight. They were okay with what they saw in his eyes and they allowed the fight to continue. But that is the job of the commission. That's the job of the ref. That's the job of the corner. You have to stop, save these gladiators from themselves. I don't think Deontay Wilder um, at this point totally uh, understands or appreciates what his corner did for him. And I, I think the warrior in him felt like he was still in the fight and had a chance to win the fight. Um, but I, I just disagree. I, I think that, yeah, yes, you always have a puncher's chance, but you got to be able to have your feet set. You got to, you got to have your facilities, you, you know, have your faculties about you, I mean. And I just don't feel like he had everything together. And, um, you know, he was just surviving. You know, after, after he got up from that knockdown, it was just wild trying to survive and, and make it through the fight, get through this foggy area, to where he could get himself back together and get back in the fight, but I just don't think it was going to ever happen because he was still getting hit with a barrage of punches. He wasn't able to defend himself properly. So, um, you know, it just wasn't, you know, it just wasn't to be. But like I said, um, you know, and I'm, I'm not meaning to dissect the fight. Like I said, I just want to talk about why I feel like it was a righteous stoppage. Um, and, and like I said, the right man won the fight. I don't, I'm not subscribing to this robbery nonsense or, conspiracy or any of that stuff you know Wilder just you know he just got bested on this night um as for the the situation with the um you know with the trainer you know I, I feel like once Wilder watches the tape he'll have a better perspective of what happened in the fight and he, he and he possibly will feel better about what you know what transpired in his corner um in terms of them actually um making the decision to stop the fight you know I, I, I fully expect Deontay Wilder to take this third fight. Um, he's saying that's what he's going to do. I believe that. Um, hoping that nothing derails that. Um, unless, it, But if it, if it needs to be postponed for whatever reason, then that's just what it is. Then it's, it's on to see what Tyson Fury does with his WBC title at that point. To see, does he go ahead and fight Dillian White? Does he fight Adam Kalnaki? Or does he fight AJ? Or, or what happens? We know AJ's supposed to be fighting Pulev, so that seems unlikely um, that that, that fight's going to happen um, before the Pulev fight. So, you know, and then the thing is, you know, with Wilder, if he doesn't get this rematch now, and where does he go in the pecking order with the WBC? Does he, you know, does he get into a situation where he's allowed a title shot as soon as um, he's ready, to, ready for it? Um, you know, that remains to be seen. Uh, I'm hoping, you know, best case scenario for Deontay Wilder, he's he's in shape um, to go right into the rematch and can make that happen without any delay so he doesn't get caught up in a whole bunch of um, politics and things like that when it comes to the sanctioning body. 
But that's all I got to say on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to all those corner trades and the whole block fam. I'm out. Peace.